Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free your mind. Have no fear for atomic energy. None of them can stop at the time. How long shall they be our prophets? While we stand aside and look. Some say it's just a prophecy. We've got to fulfill the book. Won't you help me see? These songs of freedom is all I ever heard. Redemption song. Emancipation. What does emancipation mean to you? How does it feel to be emancipated? Have we successfully passed on from generation to generation the toils and the torment, the suffering that our foreparents went through? What we now refer to as villages were once estates and the names were all given by the owners of the many plantations. For example, we say St. Hilaire Point, but do you know Mr. St. Hilaire was the name of the plantation owner? We know of St. Louis Hill. But do you know Madam St. Louis was the name of the owner of that plantation? And what we now refer to as Bogos as a village. The owner of that estate was Robert Bogos. And we say Jean-Pierre. But do you know the name of the owner was Jean-Pierre? Africans were brought here, they traveled across the Atlantic to work on the plantation. When they got here, those in Grenada, they were auctioned at the market square in Karekou. They went to the different plantations and they walked. They walked in shackles. They walk the plantation in sweat, in blood, sweat, and tears, with whip, with whip, with whip on the back. In pain, they walked, they walked, they toiled, they toiled the land. Do you know? At one time, Karaku exported many crops. For example, cotton. We exported cotton to England by thousands of pounds yearly. It was said that Karaku had a very fertile land for cotton. We also exported molasses, sugar, and other products of sugarcane as they planted sugarcane they even built the ruins it is now evident in Bele and little around Karaku many many sugar mills which shows that they planted and they worked do you know at once we also exported indigo dye. Yes, it is quite evident as now there is a Ningo well. We call it Ningo well. The reason why the water of that well was used to make the dye indigo. I cannot leave out lime. We exported lime juice. Two factories that juice lime was Crixton 
and Dumfries being the largest estate in Karikou. They were allowed to dress like them in their colorful shirt and the fancy hat. So now you're wondering how carnival started? This is how it was started. We hear of the flambeau parade. We wonder how did the flambeau started? I told you. They came from the plantation in the night. In those days, they did not have electricity. So they used the mass and tow, the lated mass and tow, as a way to get home, to give them light. <laughs> Canadian Jab Jab 
you want to know how the job job started it was on this same plantation they burned the sugar cane and the black from it they painted the bodies julian feather was a free color planter in grenada who led the revolution against the british Romanti Kojo was one of his confederates. Romanti Kojo swam from Sotez in Grenada to Kareku on the collapse of the revolution. He was one of the leading ancestors. When he got to Kareku, he disguised and dressed as a woman and hid himself among the other slaves. They fed him and gave him drink. From plantation to plantation, he traveled and led a rebellion among the slaves. The culture of this beautiful island, oh, we fight so hard to save the strangers. It is amazing how throughout the years the culture has evolved and today we see most kayaks are involved. From the building of a tomb to the gathering for maroon you hear the sweet song of the drums as the crowd they swing along. Romantic culture Ay, daule, daule Ay, romantic culture The slaves in Kareku were said to be peaceful, they were said to be calm, and they were scared at first, but they rebelled. They rebelled because they know of the struggles, of the pain they went through. They know what they went through before coming here. There were many who traveled with them who did not make the journey as they were tied up in shackles and in chain and were placed in the deck of the boats and traveled three months or more on water to get here. They were not properly fed so they were malnourished. They had diseases yellow fever smallpox malaria just to name a few many of them died from diseases many of them died from the whips on the back they received sometimes because they woke up late with the many rebellions which was led among the slaves Finally, the voices were heard, and in 1834, a bill was passed, and slavery was abolished. Yet, they were not free to leave. They kept them for another four years. And on August 1st, 1838, they were told, that they are free they are free at last they no more have to walk the lands of the plantation they are free many in Karaku, they celebrated the freedom sugar adams who was a well-known big drummer he said and i quote I celebrated the freedom by wearing shoe on my feet. Only one time during the year, on August 1st. All the other times, he said, I walked barefitted. 
But on August 1st, he wore shoes as a form of celebration because we are free. All Africans are free. And today, we celebrate our freedom August 1st. Emancipation Day, slavery was no more, fight was abolished, we are free at last. Every time that I remember the only slavery day. My little heart cries out Oh, I wish that one day That we gonna walk down freedom street With cash on my back In the burning sun Till the sweat and the tears Stays my face Freedom Street Walking Freedom Street Freedom Street Talking Freedom Street Come take my